Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing the flip through for my 2022 reading journal from July through September. So let's just get right into it. This is a journal from Paper Shark. It is 160 GSM paper. You guys know I love it. I will leave my referral link down below if you're interested in getting one. If you want to see the setup for each month or for the journal at the beginning of the year, I will leave the playlist down below with all my 2022 reading journal flip throughs, setups, anything like that, um, monthly plan with me's. If you want to go check it out, they're all on my channel. But here is the original setup. We'll kind of go through how I've added to the different pages. Nothing here, still the same. I don't know if this is accurate where it says that I've read 115 books. I think it might be a bit more. So I have to go check my Goodreads and then color it in a few more boxes. But that is around where I'm at right now for how many books I've read this year. As for my favorite book of the month, I realized that I didn't print out the covers yet. Um... That's a little awkward but for july it was full tilt by emma scott um for august it was the infinity between us by ns perkins and i think for september it's gonna be one of the lily gold books i read which we will get into later so i haven't picked it yet but that's gonna go right here anyway um i don't think i really added anything to this page recently um and i don't think i added much to this page although there is a book that i do need to add here um, again, if you have any recommendations for books that end with these letters, or sorry, I mean start with these letters, definitely let me know. Um, but yeah, after that, I don't think I added much here either, and nothing much to here as well. Or, I did buy a book that I need to add here. Anyway, um, we are going to move on to my July spreads. If you want to see anything else before this, definitely go check out my other flip throughs. Here is July's cover page. The theme was A Court of Thorns and Roses. So of course we have this gorgeous fan art of the Archeron sisters right here. Um, this page is actually also foiled, which is really fun. Hopefully you can see that shimmer. Um, and yeah, so I used these cute little Pineberry pa paper stickers that were moons because I thought it felt appropriate for the night court. And I think this page turned out super gorgeous. Again, the setup is available on my channel if you want to recreate it. Um, here was my days read and books read page. So um, in July, it looks like I read all but five days and I read 13 books. I love this fan art of Amran and this fan art of Moore. Um, these stickers are from Pals Art Nook and these ones are from Hedgehogs and Den. I just felt these ones were so appropriate for Amran. I don't know why, it just gave the vibe. Anyway, here is the page where I kind of glue in all the covers for the books I read this month. So in July, I read Every Summer After by Carly Fortune, American Royals um, by Catherine McGee, Twisted Lies by Anna Huang, Below Zero by Ali Hazelwood, Stuck With You by Ali Hazelwood, Majesty and Rivals by Catherine McGee, From This Moment by Melanie Harlow, Full Tilt and All In by Emma Scott, Graceling by Kristen Kishore, The Simple Wild by K.A. Tucker, and Beach Read by Emily Henry. Here, um, I kind of wrote through my thoughts on the different books that I read, only if they were new books. Um, if I was doing a reread, I didn't need to write about it. Um, but here, I used some fan art of Feyre and Raysan, super cute. Um, these stickers are from Pineberry Paper. I will leave my referral link down below if you're interested. Here is some gorgeous fan art of the Archer and Sisters once again. And I thought this paper that I got from my pen pal Adeline matched so well with the art. I don't know, just the rose gold and the navy blue really reminded me of this picture right here. So it was perfect. Here we have some fan art of Cassian and Az, um, and these little Pantone stickers are just from my shop. Again, here are just some thoughts on the different books I read. And then here was my recap for the month. So it looks like I read 4,160 pages, 13 books in total. I had five five-star reads. Um, I read 10 new books, three rereads, and I read 26 out of 31 days. And this fan art is of Face and, which I love. Moving on, this is coming off, but that's okay. My theme for August was An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. Um, if you didn't catch on, I'm doing like a book series theme per month for the year of 2022. So here is my cover page. I used some little dot stickers from Pals Arnook, and I think you can still use my code Bell 10 to save, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but yeah, this is super cute. I love how I did the lettering here on some clear sticker paper and um, the setup or the plan with me for this is available on my channel if you wanna check it out. Um, also, if you're interested in knowing where any of the fan art is from, if you go to the Plan With Me video, they're all, all the artists are linked in the description. Anyway, for this month, it looks like I read all but three days. This sticker right here is from Pineberry Paper. This fan art is of Leia and Elias. And actually, this was Leia, Elias, and Helen. 
Um, and yeah, so this month it looks like I read 11 books. These stickers are also from Pineberry Paper. Okay, moving on. Um, I'm just trying to see how long this video is, but for some reason it's not telling me. So we are going to just move on. Um, here are the books I read for this month. Um, I read The No Show by Beth O'Leary, Only You, Only Him, and Only Love by Melanie Harlow, Fire by Kristen Kishore, A Million Kisses in Your Lifetime by Monica Murphy, Unfixable by Tessa Bailey, Legend by Marie Lu, Love on the Brain by Ali Hazelwood, The Infinity Between Us by N.S. Perkins, and The Grace Year by Kim Leggett. And here are some of the pages where I wrote out my thoughts on the book. We have this fan art of Helene with some stickers from Pals Art Nook and Hedgehog's Den on the side. I really love how I did this kind of like corner action over here. Then we have a few more books that I read, some fan art of Laia and Eli Leia and Elias, Laia and Elias, I'm not sure. Um, stickers are from Pine Bay Paper and My Shop, Parchment and Pens. And the last but not least, we have fan art of, I'm blanking on his name, this is the guy who um, Helen falls in love with. I don't remember. I feel like it starts with an A, but it's not coming to me right now. Um, and we just have some stickers from Pine Bay Paper and Hedgeho Hedgehog's Den. Super cute. Moving on to the recap, here's some fan art of the whole cast or all the characters in the book. Um, and it looks like I did one reread, read 10 new books, read 11 books total, 3,980 pages read, um, zero five-star reads, which yeah, this month I feel like was really disappointing for me book-wise. Um, and I read 28 out of 31 days. Moving on to the last month of this flip through. Um, this is for the month of September. Again, plan with me on my channel. But this theme was The Dark Artifices by Cassandra Clare, um, which is another one of her Shadow Hunter series. So um, we have some gorgeous fan art of the whole crew right here. The sticker is from Pine Bay Paper, as well as these two right here. And these stickers are from Hedgehog's Den. I love how this cover page turned out. The colors are really speaking to me. Um, here we have some fan art of Julian and Emma, and I actually have a postcard of this art from Red Bubble on my po whoa on my bookshelf because I love it so much. Um, but it looks like I read all but five days, um, and I read eleven books. Although this was the month that I did go back to school, like university, so I was pretty busy. So I did include two books that I read for school in here because otherwise I wouldn't have reached my goal of reading ten books a month. So um, yeah. And I feel like it still counts because I did read the books, you know. Um, so the books that I read this month are A Risk on Forever by N.S. Perkins, Slammed by Colleen Hoover, Three Swedish Mountain Men, Nanny for the Neighbors, Faking with Benefits, and Triple Duty Bodyguards, all by Lily Gold, which, so good. Um, one of them is definitely going to be my favorite of the month. I just don't know which one. Anyway, um, then we have La Chanson de Roland. Um, this I read for one of my French classes. This is La Salle de Bain, which I read for another one of my French classes. Um, then we have Irresistible by Melanie Harlow, Icebreaker by Hannah Grace, and House of Sky and Breath by Sarah J. Maas. So um, moving on, we have some thoughts on the books I read. So I hand letter them in Crayola Super Tips. Um, and these stickers are from Pine Bay Paper. This fan art is of Christina, Mark, and Kieran. Super cute. Love that. Um, here we have some fan art of Ty. No, Tavi. Oh my gosh, Tavi and Drew. Um, and again, wrote out my thoughts here. I used a different color than I did originally, so I kind of traced over it to make it look kind of shadowed. Don't know if it really worked out, but you know, it is what it is. Um, and yeah, so really cute. No stickers used here. Then on this last page, we have fan art of Livy, Ty, and Kit. Um, and I used some stickers from Honey Studios as well as parchment and pens to decorate and with that we are at the end of the month of september here is the recap i use this really cute fan art from cassandra jean um and so it looks like i read 4299 pages um i read 25 out of 30 days i had four five star reads which were all the lily gold books um i had zero rereads and i read 11 books um, and obviously, if I had zero, then 11 of them were new. So here's a bit of a sneak peek for October. The plan with me for this is up if you're interested. Um, but you will see the flip through for this at the end of the year. And I will also be doing a final, final flip through of the whole journal if you're interested. So make sure to subscribe if you want to see that. But yeah, that is all I have to share with you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the future for some more reading journal videos. Bye!